Hello good day viewers. At least time to time we should remember calculus. This is why we are going to differentiate an implicit function in this tutorial. And you can see the implicit function here. It is considered as implicit function because both x and y are expressed implicitly. All right, we are going to start by differentiating the left and the right hand side simultaneously. We have x over x minus y and to the right we have y squared minus 1. We are going to differentiate the whole of this expression. From the left we have a fraction and therefore we are going to apply quotient rule. Quotient rule says you keep the bottom constant and the bottom is x minus y. You multiply by the derivative of the top. The top is x differentiating x you get 1 multiplying this by 1 it will not change you subtract now you take the top which is x you multiply by the derivative of the bottom the bottom is x minus y if you differentiate x you get 1 minus you differentiate y you get y prime o dy over dx you divide by bottom squared which is x minus y all squared we are done for the left hand side. Then moving on to the right hand side, we have y squared minus one. Differentiating y squared, we are going to obtain two y, y prime o dy over dx. The derivative of constant is zero. So we are going to simplify and obtain our result. Okay, now let us expand this. We have x minus y, minus x times one is minus x, minus minus is plus, x times y prime is x y prime. Divide by, if we like, we can expand this. So now let us expand this. If you expand this by normal terms, you get x squared plus y squared minus 2xy. And to the right, we still have 2y y prime. To clear the fraction, we are going to multiply both sides by this denominator. So we have x, okay, x positive and x negative, they will cancel out. What we have left is negative y plus x y prime. And to the right, we are going to take this and multiply each term in this expression. 2y y prime times x squared is going to be 2x squared y y prime then this time this is going to make it plus 2y cubed because we have y here and we have y squared here if, if they multiply you get y cubed but we still have y prime then the last one is negative we have 2 times 2 is 4 um, x y squared x y squared then y prime okay every single term that contain y prime we should bring it together okay to the left we have only negative y and to the right we have 2 x squared y y prime plus 2 y cubed y prime minus 4 x y squared y prime if you take this one to the right it becomes negative we have negative x y prime so we are going to factor out y prime in this expression. Uh, thereby leaving only negative y to the left, negative y, and this is equal to y prime outside. Inside we write every single term without y prime. We have 2x squared y, 2x squared y, plus 2y cubed plus 2y cubed minus 4xy squared minus 4xy squared and lastly minus x minus x this is what we are looking for y prime so y prime will be equal to uh, negative y divide by the whole of this expression under the bracket we have 2 um, x 
squared y plus 2y cubed minus 4xy squared minus x. And this is the derivative of y with respect to x in this exploration. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.